Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. We're out on another review for you today. And we're out on the Honda CB500X. So, uh, yeah, new to me this one. Uh, it's had some subtle changes, I think. Well, I say subtle changes since the last model. Uh, just going to try and gel with the bike a little bit. I've just set the mirrors up. This bike has only done, literally, it's only done about six miles. So I need to go very easy. <laughs> Don't want to be coming a cropper. Keep a shiny side up. Um, first thing I know, the seat's a little bit hard on the old Jaxi, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it's a brand new machine, this. Weather's a bit lousy today as well, but there you go. It's that time of the year, I'm afraid, so uh, we'll see. First impressions, though. Mirror vis visibility through the mirrors. Uh, pretty good there. Uh, it's very similar um, to the uh, Honda CB. 650 same dash as well by the look of it clutch feels very very light in fact yeah seems all right so might need might need adjusting that just seem, doesn't seem like this well, it seems like it's doing its job but I'll say warm the bike up and uh, we'll see how she performs can't go too mad uh, today because the roads are um, a bit shabby and also bikes not even run in so well if you're new to the channel consider subscribing hit that notification bell you'll be notified of all the latest uploads as they happen <laughs> road ahead closed oh lovely old job it's not what we wanted I'm just turn around here see what she's like at low speed actually the bike weighs 199 kilos that's the wet weight of the bike and you can't feel any of that weight to be fair um, no issues with that at all no issues at all also I've got to go very easy the tyres are not scrubbed in yet either it's got the, uh, the close the visor down it's got the parallel twin as well 180 degree parallel twin engine So um, we'll run through all the specs in the usual way when we pull over. So stay tuned and I'll, I'll give you a thorough walk around of the bike in the usual way. Very, very chilly today. Uh, I've got my thermals on underneath. <laughs> oh, starting to steam up a little bit. Yeah, it's me a little bit there with that road closed, but we'll, we'll take it right here. Hopefully we'll be back on, on course again. It's very windy, hope you can hear me okay. Um, no issues. It comes in three colours as well. This this bike, this one being the GP Red, which I quite like actually. Um, we'll run through that in a bit as well, uh, and have a look at the styling. We'll see how that screen performs as well. I think the screen can be adjusted. However, it looks to me like you need to get the tools out to adjust that, unfortunately, but can't have everything, can we? So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the 471cc, uh, um, I'll say with 180 degree crank and obviously double overhead cam, <coughs> liquid cooled. Another thing I've noticed as well, um, I thought there was uh, a 12 volt, a 24 volt, oh, sorry, 12 volt supply there, but I can't see that at the moment. I'll have a look at that in a bit. Uh, the dash there, yeah, LCD display. Got your gear indicator, gear position indicator on there, uh, fuel gauge pretty much all the information you need really on a on a bike like this temperature gauge relatively comfortable as well we have going on a bit more of a bumpy section of road a little bit further up and uh, see how she performs on the old suspension switch gear here yeah, very, very basic there. So you've got your flash, your pass button there, and your high 
That's obviously, got, obviously on main beam there at the moment, but you've got high beam uh, horn. I'm not going to press that now because there's too many cars about. Indicators there just below it. And on the right button cluster, your kill switch there, hazards, and uh, your start button there. So uh, nothing too complicated to worry about. I mean, this bike is A2 compliant as well, so perfect for the new rider. Um, being, it's been 35 kilowatt. Perfectly suited for the new rider. Um, 19 inch front wheel on here as well. Uh, this bike being the adventure, uh, in the adventure class of motorcycle. And, and I think it's 17 on the rear bike, that's so I will run through the specs. Um, so I have to, I've got them wrote down so I don't get them wrong. Uh, I've been known to get them wrong in the past. Uh, it's got the indicators which are permanently on now, or that will obviously they'll flash when you put the indicator on, but I quite like them, they're on uh, just as standard there. Full LED lighting as well, front and rear. What are the brakes like? Nothing really behind there. Front brake, uh, not too bad, not too bad. And we'll do the rear. Yeah, the last like say is a brand new bike, so front and rear, they're pretty good. It's got the, the twin discs on the front, and also it's got, uh, yeah, the, the Nissan, the twin Nissan calibers, which I think is an upgrade from the previous model. Let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. Uh, oh, I need to go really easy. The tyres are shiny on here and the roads are a little bit icy. So, the roads have been gritted, so, oh, certainly a nip in the air. But yeah, actually, other than the seat being a little bit hard so far, not really noticed anything niggly about the bike. My feet were in a nice position on the foot pegs there. Um, not too bad at all. And okay, it's not going to win any awards for the performance and the power of the bike, but I think uh, this one here, you know, being the you know the the, the size of the engine and, and what what have you is would be we would actually make a perfect commuter bike. Be very cheap. To, uh, to run. I would say you're probably looking at about between 250 and 300 miles per tank of fuel. So 17.7 .7 litre fuel tank on here as well. Actually what we're we doing for fuel, what we like for fuel. So it's got no traction control on here or any rider mode at all. So it's Billy Basics. Uh, it has got ABS. And I would say because it's a Euro 5 compliant bike, it has to comply and have ABS. But there's no, there's no, um, there's no fancy rider modes on this. This bike is uh, as it is. What's it like over the rail crossing? Good tester for the suspension here. Yeah, okay. Ring we'll her on in fourth gear. No problems. Cool. I hope you can hear me. Okay, it's very breezy. Not sure I picked the right day, the best day for this, but there you go. Um, nice days, a uh, few, few and far between at the moment. Oh. Trying to see where that fuel gauge is on there. Uh, oh yeah, I see it there. Yeah, it's not the brightest of LCDs. Uh, has got like, a little shade across there, so uh, sunshade. But there's no direct sunlight on there at the moment. Like I say, uh, it's got a temperature gauge, gear indicator, rev counter. Uh, it's got a clock on there as well. And also consumption as well. Yeah, very nice. Cool, yeah. Considering it's just under 200 kilos, you can't feel any of that weight at all. So obviously going to be very low down weight and uh, yeah, it's actually a pleasure to ride. Like I say, the, the only negative in a minute is uh, the, the seat being a little bit hard. Um, try them brakes again actually, nothing behind at all. 60 mile an hour. Yeah, absolutely fine there. Take a right here. 
and uh, see what she's like around these back roads. Cool. So, uh, go down here. Stay there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thing I have noticed is, uh, is first gear uh, it's not really got that much uh, you know before you're in the second gear there but seems all right seems okay uh, gearbox nice and smooth like I say there's no quick shifter no blipper on this bike it's just raw um, but yeah I feel like I'm in a good place on it I can't really moan too much and I think the screen is doing a reasonable job. I think it's in the upper position there, actually. So, uh, seems to be working okay. Considering how windy it is today as well. And the mirrors are actually very good. The mirrors, and mud in the road here. Uh, stay tuned, I'll pull over just up here and I'll give you a thorough walk around of the bike and I'll run through all of the specs just up here in the usual way got to go nice and easy really I'll say it's new <laughs> it's not my bike either so um, actually we'll pull in here uh, out the way not to cause any bother anywhere over here ah Ooh, it's lying about a bit there. All adds to the fun. Got to try not to fall off though. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> it's very slippery on here. Don't know if I've made the right choice. Ooh. <laughs> right. I'm going to pull over here. I could have just pulled straight in here. Right, neutral. Very easy to find neutral there. What's the side stand like? No problem. Oh, she's leaning over quite a bit there. Hopefully she's not going to sink into the ground and embarrass me. Uh, sounds okay. Not going to rev her too mad. There she is. The Honda CB500X. And uh, I noticed it's got the show of forks as well. The big piston upside down forks there as well. Adjustable by the look of it. Anyway, let's get the mitts off, I'll turn her off and we'll run through the full specs of the machine. Well, well here she is, the 2022 Honda CB500X in the uh, adventure bike class. Uh, it's giving you uh, yeah, 471cc liquid cooled, four stroke, double overhead cam with the 180 degree parallel twin engine. Tucked away in there, nice and easy to change your oil and filter there. And uh, yeah, it's A2 compliant, so uh, it's all good for the A2 uh, license holders. And um, the power is giving you four, uh, 35 kilowatt, 47 brake horsepower at 8,600 RPM, and 43 newton meters of torque at just over 6,500 RPM. It's got a lovely six-speed gearbox with uh, with slipper clutch there, so. I think that will eliminate basically locking the back wheel up when you're going down the gearbox there. So uh, I've certainly had no issues with that anyway while the time I've been out on the bike. Um, yeah, so brakes and suspension are the 41 millimetre up front here. The shower, separate function forks, uh, the big piston. So the upside down forks there. And uh, they are adjustable for preload. A little bit dirty, uh, the bike. So it's going to be dirty in this weather. So can't be helped really but yeah I actually quite like the styling of it um, not really majorly into these adventure bikes but to be fair I'm actually quite liking the styling of this one like the color as well uh, anyway going off on a tangent there so the rear are uh, pro link suspension there I don't know if you can see that in there nothing really too exciting to look at there and that is adjustable it has five stage preload adjuster on there as well for your, your preload adjustment there front brakes are the dual 296 millimeter discs there wavy discs by the look of it and um nissan radial mounted twin pot calipers like i say the bike's only done well probably about 10 mile now so 
I've not not uh, noticed any issues with them so far. Can't moan about them at all. Uh, we are a single 240 millimeter. Again, wavy disc with a single pot caliper there on the top as well, which I quite like because it keeps out of the way of all of the the shite on the roads. Uh, wheels, cast aluminium wheels, 19 inch on the front, 17 inch on the rear. So uh, actually quite nice then. Yeah, tubeless tubeless tyres, this bike has the Dunlop tyres on here so uh, yeah still rather shiny at the moment so the weight of the bike is 199 kilos that's the kerb weight, comes with a steel diamond frame, fuel tank 17.7 .7 litres claim, with a claim fuel consumption of um, 3.5 litres per 100 kilometres so I would say about 70 miles to MPG with my, my maths giving you a range of around 300 miles a tank I would say thereabouts uh, 250 to be on the safe side dimensions 830 millimeter seat height which is fine for me being actually quite a shorty at five foot seven um so i didn't have any issues with that ground clearance of 180 millimeters ground clearance so uh yeah no no problems there all right instrumentation uh yeah so the lcd type i've run through a lot of this already we will turn it on and have another look uh, i did find it a bit dark uh the lcd and uh, I don't know if there's a feature there where you can brighten that up. I don't think there is. So, um, yeah, it's got displays, all the info you need, really, to be honest, including consumption, uh, a consumption gauge, clock, gear shift indicator, trip meters, 12-volt uh, socket. Yeah, I'm not sure where that is. Uh, I think there's a little blank there, which I would have thought it would have been in there if there was one. Let me know if you've got one and you've got a 12-volt power socket and where it is, because I can't see it. <laughs> um yeah so no traction control but abs um has no rider mode so uh, yeah no track controller or rider modes but has abs lighting let's we'll have a look at the light in here light in is full led front and rear with optimized beams for a better spread uh colors are black metallic pearl green and this one being the gp red all at 6699 according to the honda website that's it that's the uk website anyway great great uh commuter bike i would say great price too um and lots of under the uh, adventure range uh servicing so first service is 600 miles and 8,000 miles so i would say probably about 160 pound a year for the cost of the servicing should you go to the main dealer uh negatives not really found too much to worry about it has a little little uh short first gear that i noticed so just straight in the second gear um you could probably pull away in second gear actually um little uh, slightly uncomfortable seat and a uh, little bit of glare on the dash there it does have a sun visor on there as well so yeah it's now starting to pour down with rain so uh yeah i think we should jump back on and ride some more i notice it's got these indicators there which are lit for the daytime running of the bike yeah all good all good the exhaust there yeah being euro 5 compliant you've got the sort of the fairly large dustbin size exhaust on there and uh, manual uh, clutch there so it's not a hydraulic clutch i say the clutch did feel a little bit a little bit of play there maybe it needs slight adjustment right i'm going to jump on and ride some more try not to kick the camera off that wouldn't be good get on springs into life here we go. Squeeze through here without causing any bother. It's actually pretty good at low speeds really. Like I say, like I said before, you know, you don't notice any weight. Very easy to manoeuvre about. No issues. weather's very lousy today <laughs> oh dear there's no outside temperature gauge there so I hate to think what it is today very very cold but yeah anyway overall not a bad machine at all the CB500X and uh, yeah actually a pleasure to ride glasses are steaming up a little bit 
not quite sure what she'd be like after sitting on her for you know large amounts of time and what she'd be like on the on the jacksy but can't really grumble at the moment although it is slightly hard um, we'll take a left here yeah the brakes are very good No self-cancelling self indicators on here either, so I have to try and remember to turn them off on the sod for leaving them on. Let's try that horn, nothing about. Um, yeah, standard type of horn, nothing to write home about. Here comes the sun, surprisingly. Yeah, very good. Like I say, that, that screen, whoa, look at the mud on here. See, this annoys me, this. That screen is, like I say, it is adjustable, but you do need tools. Little Alan, Alan, uh, Alan Key would sort that out, but that is in the upper position there by the look of it, and I think that's doing a pretty good job, to be fair. I'm not getting battered by the wind, which is uh, always good. And it just goes to show that you know you don't necessarily need to have massive uh, performance with a bike to uh, enjoy you know motorcycle and this this is a perfect learner or new rider should i say uh, bike little critter there at the side of the road we don't want him running out <laughs> well yeah let me know in the comments what do you think do you own one have you had any problems with one if you do now, could you see yourself going out and test riding one maybe you know really interested to know your comments and your thoughts on that um, yeah absolutely wonderful other than the rain and the mud on the roads and i think the luxury of this is this sort of uh, machine as well would be the the minimal running costs so uh, you know the way things are at the moment cost of living and all that well, anyway, thanks for joining me today uh, on, a, on this uh, ride out review and yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, see you soon.